Okay. Today we have Joey. He's a Blanca. Come here, buddy. Joey doesn't like the process so much, huh? But we do our best, don't we? Okay, so you see he's got some crusties right here. So I'm gonna get him wet. Come here, buddy. Joey's gotten a lot better. He had some... He can still kind of snip the pot when he doesn't like something, but I've been working with him for a minute, so he's kind of used to me. Huh? He does fairly well now. So I'm going to... This is the blueberry facial. I am going to... Uh, Get that on his face to start soaking while I'm washing his body. I know. Sometimes they don't like it because I know. But so I'm not pulling that while it's dry. I'm not trying to cut it while it's dry. I want to get it as soaked as possible. So it makes it easy to lift right up off of there. Go away, Teddy. So, that's kind of soaked up a little bit. It's a lot easier than it was. So, I'm going to take this little comb I have. Um, I use a flea comb. I got these actually in the Scissor of the Month Club I'm in. And uh, they're perfect for it. Uh, as you can tell, all of that just comes right out. No pulling, no anything and it's very good for a very sensitive area to make sure that I'm not pulling or tugging or causing any damage to that surface right there. Squeegee all the water out. The more water that you can get out of their coat, the quicker the dry time. Keep all dry. Joey has a problem with um, catching his knots. So we work really hard with making sure I try to do this as easy as possible for him. haircut on him but mom has a time crunch so we agreed on just a bath and tidy um I definitely don't want to rush with him because if you notice he uses his teeth see Look. so I watch him not necessarily try to get me anymore he just doesn't like to be brushed he has a couple mats where his collar is um 
I will recommend a rolled leather collar. With him, it's not too bad, but if a dog, if they want to keep their dog really long all the time, then I definitely recommend a rolled leather collar. It helps not mat up the dog around the neck as much. When I first started out with him, he would snap at me a lot for the brushing. Now, we, he knows I'm not going to hurt him. It does hurt for me to go through his mats, but he knows that I try really hard to not hurt him. Around his neck is where he has those, those mats from wearing the collar. So, if you notice, it's going through now. It's just little pin knots. That's all that it is. And so I just hold his skin tight. And see, there's no reason to hurt a dog when they are a little snappy. No, sir. There's a lot better ways to work with them than hold them down, muzzle them. It's okay. See? See, it's not so bad, is it? But I don't let him get away with it either. I don't let him put his teeth on me. Nah, nah. If you notice, I'll just tap him. Tell him, ah, ah, or no. I don't smack him. He can't tell me. He doesn't have words. He can't say, hey, that hurts. I don't like that. But we have worked, like I said, I've worked with him for a while now. I've been grooming him for probably about a year. And we have come a long ways because he used to be really snappy for all of it. And he knows that I'm not going to hurt him. And he just complains, huh? See, I just complain. So now, see? Oh, he did so good. What a good boy. I make sure that he knows he did a good job. He's a good boy. Oh. And if he's super stressed about it, like he used to be, I'll hold them close to me and I will, um, and I'll hold them and I'll just kind of calm them down, put them up against my body. He knows I have calm breathing, he has calm breathing. And that's what he loves. He loves for me to give him that love. Huh. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He doesn't like his nails done. If I hold them, so if I hold them like a football, oh, let's see if I can, and I pull him, and he's kind of up underneath my arm and he's close he can't really get to me if I go too much under that I will catch the quick same thing he doesn't have a lot that needs to come off. He comes on a regular basis. Another thing with dogs that have the aggression issues or snappy for some reason, if they come on a regular basis, it helps them know that this isn't a punishment. They're not being punished to be groomed. And just on the edges, that's all I'm dribbling. Just the sharp edges.
You're doing so good, Joey. What a good boy. This dremel will stop once it catches the hair. It's made for that. Some, So it is important that when you get a dremel for a dog nails, you get a dog dremel. Because they will stop once they catch that hair. Some dremels, if they're not meant for it, will pull the hair and then can possibly harm them. I know. What a good boy. See, he loves me. He's such a good boy. He loves... This is his... This is his favorite part. Is when he does good and I love on him. It's a positive reinforcement. Huh. He's a good boy. Oh, I know. Oh, look. <laughs> he is completely off the table. He has climbed up into my arms. I'm going to scoop his eyes out with the 40. But I'm not going to hit his skin with the 40. Good boy. I love my thinning shears. Uh, I've tried other ones. These are wolf brown. I'm not uh, squeezing my scissors or my thinning shears hard just enough to catch the hair and not the skin. Not oh, buddy. I'm gonna use my chunkers for back here to kinda get all of this to blend. I'm just taking a little off just to blend it a little bit into his body. What a good boy. What a good boy. Hold on, buddy. Hold on.
But basically I'm just blending his, uh, since he's not a haircut, we're not cutting his face down too much. I always keep my thumb in front of their mouth so they can't lick the scissors or my finger. Boy, Joey. What a good boy you are. What a good boy. And clean his ears. Let's see. I'm gonna use my chunkers for this hair that's right here. Takes a little bit off more than the thinning shears does. Do than the thinning shears do. <laughs> English today, Nicole English. a few knots here behind his head still so I just want to make sure all of those are gone you and this hair right here I did good. I did good. I'm a good boy. Still has a little bit of hair right here. And you don't want to shave their noses ever down here. It's supposed to grow. So like him, he gets junk right here so I shave a little bit more this way than I normally would just so that it's easier for mom to clean until his next groom and uh but you don't shave right there so you know we don't shave right there boy and we are done 